hello everyone out there so today's topic is fornication i want to talk a little bit about fornication in the bible says you shall not fornicate god wants you to be married to someone that's for you that's equally yoked as you you know and you know he wants to multiply and for uh two people to get together to love each other and you know what i'm saying walking in his path to be able to multiply that means make babies so when people fornicate that's not married uh this narcissist trying to get people to uh have sex with them or whatever the case may be and they know that they're not going to have a relationship with them they know that they're not going to marry them they know that they know that they're not going to go no further than uh nothing <laughs> they just want to have sex with them um but the only way that they can have sex with them sometimes is you know being in a relationship with them they have to see how the person is because some, some people out here which is sad some people out here you know what i'm saying you can see them one night and they'll sleep with you a one night stand or you know what i'm saying they don't have no um they don't have no mm, what's the word mm, i'm sorry y'all what's the word they don't have no boundaries that's what i was looking for i don't know their yeah, boundaries they don't have no boundaries to the point where people feel like that they can get over on them so they'll say you know what i'm saying whatever they can say to woo 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 them in to have sex with them fornication and sometimes a person know that they have to be in a relationship with somebody to be able to have sex with them so what they gonna do be in a relationship with them so they can have sex with them but it's a lot of people out here that's doing this and it's a sin but you can repent from your sins but if you keep doing it over and over and over like you know better like you know better and i'm talking to myself when i'm saying this uh when I was, you know what I'm saying, like, I wasn't married. I was having sex. I got two kids out of wedlock. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like that, you know what I'm saying, like, fornication is, it's a sin. And I just, I, like, I never, like, took the time to realize that God don't want you sleeping with everybody. Like, he doesn't want you sleeping with everybody. That's not what you're made for. Your body is a temple. And it's not made to sleep with this person, that person, and that person. And it creates soul ties. I'm going to make a video about soul ties, too. Uh, it makes, it, it makes uh, creates soul ties. So a person can have control over you. Even when they discard you. That's that's their whole goal. Is <laughs> is to get you into this little soul tie, little triangle soul tie as well. Um, But... Now I understand. Now I understand now at 30, 33 years old that the reason why you should not sleep with somebody without marrying them or ha being in a serious relationship. Uh, but you, well, hold on. You shouldn't uh, have sex with somebody until after marriage. That's what the Bible said. You should not have sex until after marriage. So... So, you know what I'm saying, um, I feel like that he said that because, you know, and it creates, like, energies, you know, energies, like, from different people that you're having sex with. If you're having sex with the same person and you're married to them and y'all know that y'all walking, y'all both are walking in the same direction, you know what I'm saying, to God or what have you. And, uh, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. And y'all get married then y'all can have sex but fornication is it's not the way and i feel like well a lot of people won't agree with me but as for me i'm not fornicating anymore no i'm waiting until after marriage and if i don't marry i don't have sex it doesn't matter to me it's cool <laughs> it doesn't matter to me but yeah i just hopped on here just to uh share this little information with you guys about fornication and this is Tanara Callahan Speaks, and I'll see you in the next video.